Welcome to another episode of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs, the most hardcore bodybuilding supplements on the market. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, and I'm here to bring you all the latest news in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. It's Monday, August 11th, 2014, and on today's show, Martinez and Yamagishi win in Tampa, Black Rocks again, Kai Green's Belief Seminar, Harold Poole Passes, and Mr. 5% isn't all talk. All that and much, much more only on Muscle in the Morning. For Japan's Hide Yamagishi, the IFBB Tampa Pro was really all about put up or shut up. He had been upstaged by Charles Dixon at the IFBB Chicago Pro, and he needed a win here to give him the needed momentum going into the 212 Olympia, where he'll face off against the likes of Flex Lewis and Jose Raymond. Well, Hide delivered as promised. He won with unanimous first place votes. He even managed to pick up the best poser award and $500 for his efforts. 4'11 Marvin Ward, who finished second, shocked the crowd with conditioning and symmetry that was reminiscent of a comic book superhero. Tricky Jackson finished third. Christian Duke's favorite, Thomas Benogli, rounded out the top five. And in the men's open division, the Dominican dominator, Victor Martinez, surged to the win with the best size and conditioning we've seen from him in several years. Martinez will head into the Olympia with top six written all over him. Last weekend's IFBB Golden State champion, William Bonick, finished in second, while the ridiculously shredded Mo Benute finished third. Max Charles, the man with the best hands on hips most muscular, nailed fourth, and the showstopper Ben White finished fifth. For photos and contest results, log on to rxmuscle.com. For Sheila Black, winning the women's bodybuilding division and securing an automatic qualification to September's Miss Olympia contest was a visualized dream come true. Combined with her best poser award-winning evening routine, Black was the it girl in Tampa. Among the other divisions, former IFBB figure pro Heather Grace won the hotly contested women's physique class, Bethany Sisternino had the best combined physique and routine in fitness, India Paulina regained hottest body status in bikini, and Species Nutrition's Latoria Watts dominated the figure division with straight first place votes. Be sure to check out all the winners' interviews with yours truly only at rxmuscle.com. Kai Green has a lot to celebrate after delivering his much anticipated Believe Seminar yesterday in New York City, New York. The house was packed and the event featured an informative video about Kai's life, a meet and greet, as well as an open Q&A seminar. Train with Kai contest winners were announced and all participants got tons of swag from Flex Magazine and Muscle Meds. One attendee that was especially taken aback was Flag Norfell's Rob Bailey, who gave the affair a rave review via Facebook video. With the success of this one-man show, I guess if Kai doesn't win the upcoming 50th anniversary Mr. Olympia, maybe he can always stay in Vegas and book a permanent gig at the Bellagio. The world of bodybuilding and fitness lost a great champion this past weekend with the passing of IFBB Hall of Famer Harold Poole. Poole was a member of the pre-golden era of bodybuilding, winning the coveted Mr. Universe title and being the first African-American man to win the IFBB Mr. America. Unbeknownst to many in the industry, Poole was runner-up to Mr. Olympia Larry Scott at both his Olympia wins. His induction into the IFBB Hall of Fame in 2004 marked a rich and rewarding fitness and martial arts career that saw him win big titles, grace the cover of countless magazines, and touch the lives of countless friends and fans. Muscle in the Morning would like to take a moment of silence to pay our respects to a true legend. Rich Piana has been complaining for quite a while now. Unhappy with the fact that competitors have to shell out lots of cash to compete and they seldom walk away with any tangible benefit. Mr. 5% is putting his money where his mouth is. No, he's not starting another federation. He's simply putting together a kick-ass Olympia after party to end all after parties. It's not a bodybuilding show per se. What Piano and company are looking for is the ultimate male badass and the sexiest, most confident lady in the house. The men can wear posing trunks, tights, board shorts, cargo shorts, or basketball shorts. The ladies can wear any bathing suit they choose, one-piece bikini, g-string, or whatever they feel like putting on. 
All interested participants can contact Piana via Facebook. Remember, you gotta love it, kill it, and show up if you wanna win. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs, the most hardcore bodybuilding supplements on the market. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. And for full quotes and Muscle in the Morning bonus features, check out Muscle in the Morning's official Facebook page. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And remember to follow us on Twitter and Facebook.